Remember what I said? Don't laugh at the line. Don't don't laugh, okay? You remember? Don't laugh. Okay, this is the strength of a woman. Ain't nobody better than the boss chick. All the ladies who they fight for the mula. Who they will want nobody for touch. Hey lovely people, welcome back to my channel. If you would like to see how I achieved today's look, this cute, easy, protective style, perfect for those who don't know how to braid, and if you do know how to braid, perfect for you too. If you'd like to see how I achieved this look, then please keep watching. So for this hairstyle, I will be using my Marley braids. You can use any Marley braid hair, but you know, this was on special, you know, $5.99. We love a good sale at the beauty supplies. So, got that. I'm doing a short length. I want a very cute, summery, bob, jumbo twist look. So I'm gonna cut this in half. So I'm hoping two packs will be enough. I'm gonna need some scissors. I'm gonna need some mini black elastics. I'm gonna tie the ends. And then I also got some clips to put at the bottoms because I like that look. And we can't forget our handy dandy tail comb and shine and jam. So to get started, I'm just gonna take my pack of hair and it comes like this. How many inches is this? Does it say? No, it does not. It does say it's color two, if you were wondering, but I'm just gonna, where the elastic is, I'm just gonna cut it right down the middle. And then to do my hair, I'm gonna use it like this. So it's gonna give me that bob look that I'm looking for, hopefully. When I do a protective style like this, that's gonna be my whole head. I like to part my hair into two sections, the top half and the back half. So I'm gonna use my tail comb. And honestly, I never really know how straight my line is. You just bring it in prayer and hope that the line is straight enough. But I'm not a stickler for a straight line. In the back at least. The front, yeah, a little more. Here's the bottom half. I'm gonna start with that. Honestly, there are two ways you can do this. I feel like a style like this in general, I'm doing twists. So if you're not a braider, this is such a cute protective style that you can do. If you are a braider, there is a technique where you can braid like one, two times and then begin twisting just to make the roots more tighter. But I'll show you both. And if you ever do the style, you can pick and choose which method you want to follow. I'm also gonna now break my first line, the very bottom of the hair. I'm gonna turn around and show you. But listen, if I turn around and the line is not straight, don't laugh. It's not nice, don't laugh. I, I can't see, you know? We're just using our fingers to touch touch the line and hope, so, so don't laugh, okay? So depending on how thick your hair is, how many parts you wanna do it, doesn't matter, it's up to you. Um, I think for me, I will probably do one, I will probably do four in the back. Now it's easier for me to do the braiding method, so I'm going to show you how I do that. For my sections, I'm gonna clean it with my shine and jam. I'm just gonna take a little bit, I'm not gonna go off. And I'm just gonna smooth it around where I'm gonna braid. And for the hair, again, how much hair you take, it's completely up to you. It depends how chunky you want the twist to be, and it also depends how many, how many packs of hair you have. I'm gonna take one of the little strands, and I'm going to loop it through the big strand. Like so. Now we have a loop for the back. I'm gonna hold it like this. Grab the hair like this. Flip it around, grab my hair. The skinny side is what is going to join with my hair. And I'm gonna connect the skinny side to the middle of my hair. And then the big side, there's one on each side. And then I'm gonna do a braid like twice. Okay. 
Okay, so I've done it like three times. I gather two of the sections together and then one apart and then I begin twisting the rest of the way down. And you're not just twisting like this. Don't do that. If you want it to come out nice, you have to twist your hands and the hair while you're going down. So I'm twisting, then I go down. Twisting, then I go down. Twisting, then I go down. And then I'm doing this the whole way down until I get to the length that I want. I hope you can see what I'm doing. So if you're running out of hair on one side, go to the side that has more hair, take a little piece, join it to the side that has a little bit of hair, and then you just twist again. So the length that I want is like, actually right here, like right here. This, this is how long I want it. So I'm probably gonna cut at the end, but for now I'm gonna put an elastic where I want it. So I'm gonna do the same thing for the first row. And then I'll come back and show you the second method that you can do with this style. If you're not a braider, if you feel like this way is too complicated, I'll show you another easier way. I'm gonna show you the first method again. Same thing's gonna apply for the first and second method though. Once again, three strands, two thick, one slim, the slim is together. Grab your hair. And line it up in a way that the skinny one matches with your hair and the two thick ones are on each side. And then you start braiding. You only need to do this two or three times until the root is, you know, secure. Once it's secure, put two of the strands together and put one on the side. And then you start twisting. Now, before you start twisting, I realize because you're twisting, your hair ends up twisting with you and it hurts. We don't want that. So grab a nice clip and clip your hair. The root where you started, just clip it so it can stay while you're twisting. And then you continue. So there's less tension being put on your root. And then you can twist the rest of the way down. I want my length to be right about here. So. I'm just gonna take my little elastic and I'm gonna line it up with the one I already have done. Yeah. It's always hard doing the back of your hair when you're doing a protective style, but honestly, trust your other senses. Trust your sense of touch to help you do the job. I've done the back portion of my hair and now I'm going to show you the second method I was referring to for those who are non-braiders or they want the easiest method possible. The hair that you have, split it in two, so one and two. Grab your braiding hair. This time, you're not gonna section off your hair and grab a small piece and a large piece. You're just gonna take it all together at once. Mine are pretty jumbo, so that's why my hair is pretty thick. But if yours is not large, then you know, go according to your size. Just do a little twist because this is what you're gonna add to your hair. And then where you have split up, hopefully it's still split for you, you join it together with the hair. And then you twist in opposite directions. I hope you saw that, I'll do it again. So right now it's just level. And I'm twisting my hand and my hair in opposite directions.
on my twist now. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna clean it up. I'm gonna cut off the ends. I'm gonna try my best to make it all one length as close as possible as I can. I do have barriers, so I'm gonna go look in the mirror and I'm gonna level it out and see if I can make it a nice bob. And then when I'm done, I'm going to put some of the gold beads at the bottom because why not, right? So I wanna put some of these at the end. I feel like they'll give it a cute finishing touch and then I'll come back and show it to you guys. Here is the finished look. I have cut it. You can wear it to the side if you want, like so. And you could also wear it in the middle as like a middle part. It all depends on how you want it to look and what suits your face better. So if you made it to the end of today's video, thank you so much for tuning in and watching this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. See that no one pays back wrong for wrong, but at all times, make it your aim to do good to one another and to all people. First Thessalonians 5.15.